Hello, this is Alyssa with Patriot Marketing. Um, I have, we, sorry, we had reached out to you guys last week, uh, I believe on Friday or something. Normally I would have these to you in the evening, um, but unfortunately something came up. Um, uh, my husband and I, we had a death in the family and so we weren't able to get to this. So I do apologize for the delay. Um, however, here is the free custom video that we promised. I'm going to go ahead and keep it uh, short and sweet, and I just really wanted to provide some value for you and give you some tips and tricks on how to really maximize your traffic and business online. And so with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So first of all, I wanted to point out a couple of things I liked about your website. There's this uh, form that people can fill out um, that really helps with converting people over as clients. And, uh, yeah, that's really great to have. That's something I noticed is there's not, there's not a whole lot of content. Maybe these little short snippets here and there. Um, and content is literally anything I can highlight web or it be text or images. Um, in this case, I'd be talking about the text. You have a lot of images here. Um, and the reason why you want a lot of content is so you can Rank for a lot of different keywords. Keywords, for example, uh, roofing San Diego, San Diego roofing companies, metal roofing San Diego, all of these great keywords for your field of work and area, all of them combined. And some of these have really high search volumes like per month. Like, for example, um, San Diego roofing company, 100 search volume for, and all of these combined for your field of work and area has a combined total of search volume of 2.1 thousand uh, search volume per month. So it's, it's a lot of volume to be had that you're not getting because you don't have the content with those keywords within it to uh, be found. And it's really important to be putting yourself in a position to be found. Um, when people search these keywords, you don't come up in their, in their search because you just don't have that uh, keyword in there in the content and so people aren't able to find you that way so how you would put yourself in a position to be found is to have a lot of content with the keywords that you want and need to be found for so i would even go as far as like saving the images as uh, a keyword and then re-uploading it to your website because then that image now counts as content towards your website and uh you can start to rank for that keyword it's a really sneaky way to just put those keywords in there without actually putting it into your text. Uh, and keywords and content is so crucial for a website because when Google crawls your website, they see that you don't own, that not only do you have that content, but the key, but you also have the keyword verbatim within it. And it allows you to rank faster and more efficiently because Google feels like the more content you have, the more likely you are to be an expert in your field. And at the end of the day, their whole goal is that when somebody is searching on their platform, that they get what they're looking for. So if they're looking for roofers in San Diego, they're going to rank people um, higher who are to, deemed to be more of an expert in their field, according to Google, which would be people with more content. So, um, Long story short, more content you have, the more likely you are to be found because Google wants the people searching on their platform to be taken care of. And so with that, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my um, second tip for you. Um, and that would be to build upon this Google business profile. Uh, it would be really ma uh, giving yourself a chance to just maximize the amount of traffic you'd be getting to your website and the business that you'd be getting. Um, and what I mean by that is when people search for any given keyword, there is a lot of ways in which they can convert over as a client. Um, so first of all, you have these uh, Google ad, sorry, not Google ads, local ads here. They are Google guaranteed up to a certain dollar amount. Um, so if something happens or goes wrong, um, the people using the local ads trust that Google will make it right monetarily. And you also have, um, the this uh, drop down here and it has the company's number right here so when you hover it over uh, you know people can click click on that and uh, uh, when people are already taking their time a day to uh, call you they're more likely to convert over as a client 
Um, and they also capture the people who click on the very first thing that they see. These have a high conversion rate in that way. Um, the Google ads themselves located just under the uh, local ads, they uh, don't have as high of a conversion rate. However, uh, because of their position being where they're at on the first page, it gives you a chance to be seen by a lot of different people. And uh, it also, uh, they're also a lot cheaper. The next thing I'm going to talk about is this Google Map Pack. So first of all, I want to congratulate you for being number three here. Uh, but uh, the people who search this way, they want to see a company that is local and in the area. I'm one of these people who searches this way. Uh, this can pull up to 40% of the traffic, which is, you know, a great deal amount of that, the traffic coming through on a keyword. So if we were looking at a keyword like um, roofing San Diego, uh, Roofing San Diego is what I used. It has a search volume of 250 and 40% of 250 is 100. So you are looking at 100 people going straight to these competitors. Um, so it trickles down uh, here, but uh, so you are getting a lot of traffic to your website already. We, we can see that. Um, however, ranking organically is another way in which you can actually uh, bring traffic to your website. So you have 40% going here, the rest trickle down through here, and uh, ranking organically, the concept is pretty simple. The rest of that 60% um, is going to trickle down through here. So the people ranking higher in Google are going to do better and pull more traffic than the people all the way down here, and people rarely go to that second page of Google. So it's important to know that when you're ranking organically that you're ranking high enough to be on that first page of Google. Um, so you get that traffic to your website. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and move on to my third tip for you. It has to do with ranking organically. Um, and this is where we're going to get a little technical here. So in order to rank organically, you do need to add um, backlinks and referring domains. And I have you plugged in here to kind of show where you're at in your online presence. So backlinks, unfortunately, are not all created equal. Um, you know, you have good quality backlinks and poor quality backlinks. Um, and if we take a look at your backlinks, hold on one moment. We were supposed to look at backlinks here. Give me one second. We're just going to actually just click on backlinks here because I needed this open for that. I do apologize for the slight delay in this video for that. It's loading. There we go. So we take a look at your backlinks. It looks like your highest quality one is in the 20s range. Um, and you are actually no, we got 30. So but I can probably say that if we go all the way over here, like we were saying, not all backlinks are created equal. You have some zeros here. Those aren't good quality backlinks at all. Those aren't doing anything for you and they're a waste of time and money. So I would replace those backlinks with some good quality, high, higher quality backlinks there. Um, and then if we take a look at the referring domains, um, it looks like you have, uh, with, with referring domains, let's, I kind of want to go over that first before I go there, but referring domains is the best way to describe what that is is say you did services for somebody and they wanted to blog about the services that you had provided them um and they have a link back to your website that would count as a referring domain um some of them have more they have a lot of power some of them have more than others if we take a look here uh referring domains uh so as we see there's higher numbers than others the higher this number is here the more power it's going to have. Um, a, there's a couple of zeros here. Um, so I would probably get rid of those zeros as they don't have very much power for you to rank higher um, and replace them with some higher power ones because the more power you have, the higher these numbers are going to be. Um, generally with roofing, we, we want to see them in the 20s, 30s range and at a one-to-one -one ratio. You want a high, as high of a number as possible, but that's a good range to be in. 
Looks like you're in the 39 range, not at a one-to-one -one ratio. You do have 17,000 backlinks, 468 referring domains, ranking for 7.2 thousand organic keywords, and getting an organic traffic at 3.5 thousand. So you might think that you're doing okay for yourself. Um, we're going to take a look at one of your competitors and see where they're at. Now, I decided to use these guys. Um, I used San Diego Roofing just because they're ranking number one organically. And also, they're up here, uh, right there, number two in the map pack just above you. Um, their name shows up organically, but I don't see yours. So let's take a look and see why that is. This is their website. Um, they have a lot of content there and more here. Um, yeah, it just seems like they have a little bit more content than you. They could use some more personally is what I think. But however, um, I really wanted to just show you this part. So um, they have 71.7 thousand backlinks. Um, more than you do at 17,000. Uh, I can probably guarantee that not all of those are, uh, good quality ones. They have 155 referring domains, something that you are beating them in, but, um, uh, you know, they are ranking for 1.1 thousand organic keywords. You are beating them in organic keywords at 7.2 thousand. You're getting an organic traffic at 3.5 thousand. However, they're getting an organic traffic at 934. So you might think that you're beating them, but if we take a look at the keywords here, so we didn't go over keywords with you, but these are some of the keywords that you're ranking for. A lot of these uh, national keywords. Um, so you're getting a lot of traffic from outside of your area, it seems like. Um, and a lot of it is just coming from the blog itself. This is the link that uh, a lot of your traffic is coming from. So, uh, I'll, and I don't see any s service keywords, not for your area, not until we get all the way down here at the bottom. So you want a lot of service keywords for your area. Otherwise you're getting irrelevant traffic to your website. And so they're not going to hire you because you're not what they're looking for, for what they're, look, I guess, looking for, I guess, in that way, or you're not in their area. So if we take a look at their organic keywords. They have Roofing San Diego, San Diego Roofing, San Diego Roofing Company, Roofing Company San Diego. They are getting found for a lot of the things that is area specific and for the field of work that they're in. They have a more narrowed keyword search and it's coming not from their blog. These keywords are located on their homepage. So if we take a look at URL, just the homepage. So we're gonna, this is their URL. You can see here one moment. It's just going to load here in a second. Um, and it's loading. Okay, here we go. While we're doing that, so it only dropped, their traffic only dropped by 707. And down to 707 from the 900 number that they were at. Um, so that bring they didn't drop that much. And so with you, on the other hand, when we do this, when we just focus on your home page and not your blog, and it's going to take its time here, you drop a whole bunch. You're only ranking for the 84 organic keywords, only getting an organic traffic of 92 for your service area, for your service and the area that you are in when you just focus on the, your home page. Your home page isn't doing super well. They didn't drop by a whole bunch. If they, we just focus on their home page. They're getting a lot of traffic for their home page and you want to focus your SEO and your backlinking and referring domains onto that home page. Um, you don't want to do it for just your blog. Otherwise, you're not going to get found for very much stuff and you're not going to get the traffic that you're wanting and you aren't going to get as many conversions. So um, those are just some of the tips that I have for you. Um, 
you know, there's a lot of things in which you can do to really implement to increase your your uh, online presence. I hope that this has been helpful and informative. If you want to reach out to my husband or I, we would love to get in touch with you and whatever time works best for you. Um, and so with that, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and God bless.